In this video I'll show you how use anchors to simplify texturing pipeline with complex materials. Like worn painted metal for example. Look how I paint. First stroke reveals worn light paint, then rust and raw metal. It is all controlled by values of single mask. Now I delete all current layers and show you how to achieve it from the very beginning. First I create empty fill layer and add black mask to it. I will call this layer mask control. And add anchor to mask. It will be the main mask I'll be painting. I create new folder, worn paint. Place fill layer there. It will be first layer of light worn paint. I forgot that my mask control is black. Paint random stroke there so future changes will be visible. Now add black mask to worn paint. Add fill into mask and link fill with mask control anchor. No changes visible yet. I make worn paint fill layer lighter and reduce glossiness. Now add second layer, rust. Same algorithm. Black mask, fill, link with anchor. Rust folder needs actual rust. I'll use default rust fine. Now interesting part starts. I add levels above the fill. I use levels to cut darkest area of mask. Which means that only more white areas will be covered with rust, where the dark ones will have light worn paint. For the last step I do the same again. New folder. I call it raw metal. Add black mask. Copy mask from rust here, because it is basically the same. I only need to tweak levels more. Iron raw material works fine here. Change levels to really high values, so raw metal won't reveal so easily. My painted mask didn't have too much white values, so I paint few more strokes. That's all for now. It is good base to start texturing. You may modify it more, add fills with multiply filters and so on. For example here I add warp to both rust and worn paint to make edges less uniform. Thanks for your time. You can follow my art station for more free short tutors about substance. Voiced by Peter. Our. Shiny, metal, overlord. <laughs>